Congratulations again, Marcus. I'm saying this quite a bit often uh, this season. It's uh, nice to win against our local rivals. Tough game. Better second half performance in Ketrin. Your impressions of the game? Um, yeah, I mean, the, the, it's, a, it's a very good service for this time of year. They've, they've looked after it very well. Um, we wanted to try and get it down and play. And in all fairness to Rushton first half, they, they pressed us. We were going up the slope and we, we just couldn't really get, the, get our rhythm. Um, we, we, we tweaked it just before probably the, the halfway through the first half uh, and that's probably where we got a little bit of joy uh, with Snoop going a bit higher and we released him um, yeah and just uh, it was a coolie the taken goal but I think the second half you, you, you've probably seen what we've been about all year we're very good at neutralising the opposition uh, our goal threat is across the field it can come from anywhere and, and it affects uh, the opposition's decision making uh, and certainly in the shape and that allowed us in the second half to really uh, dictate the play and control and we made some very good decisions and lucky not to get another but um, yeah it, it, we're not overly exciting we, um, we're not oohing and ahhing um, week in week out on us but we're, we're professional we, uh, we neutralise the opposition and we get jobs done and um, that's been one of the, the many boxes um, ticked for the reason why we've, uh, we've uh, turned out champions Disappointing on Dan Holman going off in that first half. Is that his season over? Uh, it seems that way. He looked like he was going to unleash uh, one of his famous volleys, but we're unfortunate. Uh, he, he's just tweaked it. Um, yeah, it happens in football. Um, you know, when, when the the sort of players we have, little things that can can come to hurt you. But he'll look after him right. We we we're certainly not in a position where we're going to be risking him or anything like that. Um, purely because of the, the, the position we're in, but. Uh, what we just I just mentioned to John Dunham, what well, a great position to be in is then to bring in on bring on our top goal scorer. Yes, indeed. Uh, Declan Towers wasn't there today. No, he uh, he, uh, he he got battered and bruised on Saturday and uh, was feeling. Uh, what you got to remember when you get to this level and higher, these players they they play a lot on adrenaline, they play on a lot of pressure, uh, they play through a lot of knocks and niggles, uh, and a lot of the time it's that that gets them through and gets them to play the level they are. On Saturday you saw a performance that was probably purely down to that it was a dead rubber, and that, that that takes the edge away from a lot of our players. You'd say, oh, we'd be relaxed and we could go, you know, enjoy ourselves. Our, our lads play under pressure, and, and when um, challenges are put in front of them, and you know, today has come at the right time for us in terms of playing our local rivals, decent turnout and um, you know, pride was at the stake of it. I, I'm, I'm in a roundabout way for everyone concerned with both clubs uh, and everyone arriving today, I'm kind of glad everything was resolved. Uh, you could probably treble this gate uh, if both teams were still playing for something and possibly add another, another percentage standing outside and um, I think uh, yeah, I think it suited suited both parties. I know that it's not the result they wanted or where they wanted to be, but I just think, yeah, it, again, it's a, just a good turnout from both sets of clubs, showing what Northamptonshire can bring. And um, I think, you know, uh, now we're going to be involved with Brackley. You know, the challenge is for them to, you know, obviously get, um, get where they need to be. Uh, and I think once you step away from the field and you forget about the 90 minutes, You'd fancy playing Rushton on a Boxing Day or a Bank Holiday, um, regardless of the rivalry. And um, obviously, uh, good luck to whatever they do. But we've uh, we got our own new challenges now, and we'll concentrate on that. One on Saturday against Stratford, who are still fighting for the uh, playoffs. It's an ex the uh, town uh, manager, etc. Ironic, yeah, yeah, to yeah, say, ironic, isn't it? There's a lot of irony this year. Uh, yes, I'm sure Thomas will be wanting to win uh, for South Pride and get his lads motivated. Um, Circumstances, we obviously we're not in control of what that will be at that time. We will make the right decisions, to look after ourselves. Uh, we'll be a professional, and um, yeah, we'll. Uh, he'll, he'll probably want to get the result and get out. Uh, I would have thought, but we we just got to concentrate and do what we've got to write. And the uh, we haven't won at home for a while, so we probably need to get a win. What this has cemented, though, Marcus, is a home match against uh, Weymouth, so no travelling down to Dorset. Yes, um, thankful for that. Um, I know that's still not concluded yet, is it? It's uh, Taunton, is it? The Taunton of them. So yeah, we would have been a southwest travel. So no, we're um, chairman will be pleased, and uh, another great opportunity to get our local fans to come and support us. Uh, and as like we did on Saturday, uh, we'll make a good day of it, uh, an enjoyable day. Uh, and I'll probably put a bit more of a rocket in them so we have a better performance than what we did uh, on Saturday. Thank you, Marcus. Uh, great, uh, well done, fantastic season. Thank you.